is the time of year to cozy up with a cup of hot chocolate and a nice holiday movie or a chaotic sims video and so i figured today let's combine the two and do every room is a different holiday movie and i'm gonna be so honest this video took a lot of brainstorming because so many holiday movies have the exact same vibe thank you hallmark but i think we can do this i think it'll be fun so i made us a little shell of the house um and i obviously made it red and green for the christmasy vibes and happy holidays no matter what holiday you celebrate but this is what we're looking at so before we get into the video make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite holiday movie and also make sure to follow my other socials i go live on twitch and tiktok about like three or four times a week and i always get messages that are like oh my god are you from youtube i didn't know that you stream and i do so i guess i don't talk about it enough but all those links are down below for you so i made a wheel with a list of movies that i feel like we have a distinct vibe we can make a sims room with we're going to combine the front porch and the entryway because we have a limited number of things but our first one is gonna be general santa claus propaganda and no that is not a christmas movie but you know there have been so many made about santa claus that i feel like we can do one sims room to encompass all of them you know in these videos i like to at least somewhat try to make them look good but while also having fun with it and if you hate fun you might want to click off this video do we have like santa anything oh my god we have surf and santa i didn't even know we had this this is amazing let's do this they're gonna welcome you in i kind of love it i think let's do a couple wreaths seasons and that free holiday pack are really going to be doing some heavy lifting not even just in the entryway but i think in this video as a whole my general idea is to just get some like red and white furniture to kind of represent santa oh and massive shout out to nick 2702 on the gallery for these selfies of santa claus oh my god i love that if you didn't know you can hit Control f on your keyboard to get these quarter tiles that's what i'm doing here maybe we will do like a green on the wall just to kind of provide a little bit of contrast oh, i almost forgot about this rug as well we have a table here from seasons i don't know what the best one to use is we could use that one that's obviously just more like general holiday vibe oh and we have the holiday candles too we're going back out here to get our santa claus selfies to really again welcome you into the home lets you know what's going on what is he doing in that picture there's some with mrs claus okay girl boss i don't know why these selfies are cracking me up they're just so funny oh my god wait these could be fun because they're like snowballs i don't know what those have to do with santa but i think this is going to be our santa inspired entryway front porch area this is going to be our living area and now that i think of it i might want a little half wall and for the living area we are going to be building a room inspired by rudolph okay so rudolph the red-nosed reindeer was that actually a movie i don't know it definitely was the reason i put this on here is because of one specific item i don't know where it's from though it has to be like seasons or the holiday pack yes yes because see it has a red nose like rudolph and maybe if you ever saw it you might even say that it glows now speaking of glowing i was gonna change the floor up in here but i feel like since it's the glow flooring anyway maybe what we should do is do some brown on the walls is that disgusting i just feel that like the brown is for like the deer part and the red is for the nose part like some might even say that it glows we need the biggest tv for the whole point of like this being a movie inspired house we should do a big tv to watch the movies the decor i'm gonna keep it still looking like cute fun funky fresh oh but you know what we do need in this house just like in general a fireplace because santa has to come down the chimney like that's kind of his whole thing now we need a coffee table i don't know which one i like and we'll get another red chair we'll get some more deer even though there can only be one rudolph irl not even IRL. Oh my god, do you think someone has like Rudolph artwork on the gallery? Are you kidding me? Thou rocks one, two, three. Thou rocks does rock. Oh my god, it is lagging my game ridiculously. And look at that rug. Oh my god, how do I put that in here? Look at that. Flower crown teddy. Can we get this rug? Wait, I think it actually might work. I did really like these rugs, but I think they're gonna cover it up. Maybe we'll just like put one over there. We need games. We need the reindeer game. What are reindeer games? Do they do they like American football? Do they they like actual football maybe they like blowing bubbles i do think we should do a pile of presents maybe they like actual gaming like maybe they are gamers and that's what the reindeer games are and we need a basket of cozies yes my game is so laggy and i do believe i think there are over a thousand of these little lights used to make this rudolph so we'll just go as far as we get but here is our rudolph the red-nosed reindeer inspired living room and then i know open concept is the worst for these challenges but this is the dining area and so we're gonna be inspired 
inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas, which arguably could be a Halloween movie, it could be a Christmas movie, it could be both. I feel like this might work pretty well for us because we can use spooky stuff. We have a dining table. Do we not have dining chairs? I think I might have a workaround to that. So what we're gonna do, we're going to take this table and we're gonna put four chairs around it, okay? Now we're gonna take the basement tool and we're gonna draw a basement. And now place these four chairs in the basement. We're gonna raise them up. You could do this with the nine key. I'm just gonna do it with the tool mod. We're gonna raise them up until they're like at a good level. Then I believe for the lighting to be correct, we have to put the same lighting in the basement. Oh, that's definitely better. We're gonna take these four chairs and we're gonna size them down. You can barely see them. So now if your sim is going to sit at this table, they will be able to. They should be able to, but they won't pull out the ghosty chair. They'll kind of just like clip through it, but it should work. It should work. But we definitely can get this rug because that is perfect. Probably even get Skelly Bear because that can kind of carry over to the living area as well. Do a little table with like candy. I'll be so real with everyone. I don't know when the last time I've seen the, this movie was. I don't even know if I have. I've definitely seen parts of it, but let's do that. Let's get a skeleton light. And I feel feel like that'll be our dining area. I would like a hanging light. I wonder if we have anything that's kind of like patchwork inspired. Maybe these. These can kind of be used to represent like Sally's colorfulness. Is that a word? Okay, I fear my game is about to crash. So what I think is gonna happen, I think we're gonna say goodbye to Rudolph, but I'll put Rudolph back at the very end. Actually, I love these lights. I feel like, I feel like those lights work really well for this. So now we're gonna move on to the kitchen and our kitchen is going to be inspired by Elf. Wait, Elf is perfect for the kitchen. I feel like there's a lot of like food references in Elf. Like world's best cup of coffee. Oh my God, congrats, you did it. And like candy in general. Yellow and green, I feel like is the vibe for this. I kind of am feeling these ones. Oh, I don't love a crowded kitchen. That feels so crowded. Over here, do the fridge. Also, is it bad that I want to do wood flooring, but like just for this area? It looks bad. I'm going to leave it at a trap trash can. I guess the sink has to go there. Just a little bit of cabinet. Same over here. We have to do a nice coffee machine. Do we have any like syrup? I just think about when he puts like the maple syrup in the spaghetti. What about candy? Really? This is our only thing? I guess everything else I have is custom content. I'm going to the gallery. <gasps> Sim Smiley is coming in clutch. Very ginormous brain. Wait, where do we put it though? Stop. I love that. I don't normally love English words in the Sims, but I will make an exception for this. Santa, I know him. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna watch Elf tonight. You gotta put the smoke alarm right by the stove. I do not trust my Sims. You know I'm always looking for an excuse to use my subway tile backsplash. I'm really about to justify it to you all by saying it makes sense because Elf is in New York City and New York City subway. Wait, maybe these ones. I actually really like that. Spoiler alert, but don't they all sing at the end? We can do a little microphone. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I feel like we need more yellow. I don't know. His whole pants are yellow. I want a toy box in here. So maybe let's size one down and put one there. There is like one thing that I want. This makes no sense, but in my head, this is the most similar to maple syrup bottles that we're gonna get is the, the barbecue sauce bottles. So we're gonna add those to be the maple syrup. We were lacking a rug to the outside that actually complements the arch tiles so nicely. Okay, well, I think that'll be our elf kitchen. I think the pictures really make it work. And next up we have, we have a bathroom um, on the lower level and this is going to be inspired by, you know what? I'll take it. Frosty the Snowman question mark because when I looked up Frosty the Snowman movie it was like 25 minutes long and I'm like do you count that as a movie? When I watched it as a kid it certainly felt long like a movie. So Frosty the Snowman. A snow buddy. A snow pal. What better excuse to use my spotty tiles that I use in every single build. I actually like those ones. Like they look icy cold. I think I'm gonna make this like a 0.75 bathroom, a toilet shower and sink. I'll get into that in a minute. It's because I made the upstairs layout a little strange. I figure we'll do an all white bathroom. Hopefully someone on the gallery has like Frosty the Snowman pictures. That would be really good. We could put some coal because he has like a corn cob pipe and a button nose. 
and two eyes made out of coal. I don't know where we're gonna go with it. I am gonna do a shower here. Maybe we will move this coal. Maybe we'll move it like next to the toilet. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure we do have a snowman somewhere in here. Oh, that's actually so cute. Like that is Frosty the snowman. This might be a spoiler, but I'm not even sure if it's true or if I just imagined it. But I think Frosty melts at some point or like he's gonna melt. I just remember like when I think Frosty the snowman, I just have this like, I don't wanna say negative, but just like, like a negative feeling because I think as a kid, it made me really upset that Frosty was gonna melt or something like that. Okay, looking it up now, Frosty the snowman was a TV special. I'm sorry if that upsets you. Spoiler alerts for Frosty the snowman, the 1969 TV special. Santa comes and brings Frosty back to life. Maybe I never got to that part. Maybe I got too upset. I had to stop watching. Frosty gay. Hello? Oh my God, look at all of this. Oh, I will say Maya Shmaya, absolute shout out to Maya Shmaya. Look at these Frosties in a hot chocolate. I think these are a bit too big, but I love those. All right, I don't think we have any actual pictures of Frosty himself, but we do have this. Put him in there, okay? Just gonna sit there, not gonna bother you. Just wants to know if you have games on your phone. Got a little bath mat, a little hanging towel. I don't want a curtain. For some reason I want it to be orange because of the carrot nose. Wait, no, a button nose, but you have a carrot nose. Does Frosty have a carrot? Frosty has a button nose. It's red. Okay, well, maybe we'll do red. All right, Frosty the Snowman bathroom. I'm going to just kind of make an executive decision here, which is to not roll a movie for the hall for this hallway up here because like, there's no room. There's no room. What are we gonna do? Add some more selfies of Santa and we can just carry it on to our general Santa Claus propaganda movies. Look at that one. Look at the smolder. That's exactly what you wanna see as soon as you walk out of your bedroom in the morning. So that's gonna be our hallway. So this is what I mean when I said that the layout is really weird. It's because we have this bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and then also this bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. This one, which I think we'll end up doing more as an office depending on what movie we get. That doesn't have any bathroom and the only one you can access is down there. So I figured we'll put a shower. So let's do the first bedroom. I I don't know what we're gonna get for this one. Please, not the princess switch. The princess switch starring Vanessa Hudgens and Vanessa Hudgens. So basically Vanessa Hudgens character goes to a baking competition in a fake country and Vanessa Vanessa Hudgens' other character is like a princess or gonna be a princess, but she like doesn't like her husband. I don't know what the story is. And she's like, I just wanna be a normal person. Can we switch? I think that's the plot. There are like three other ones and I've seen them all and I watch them every year and yet it doesn't, it doesn't stick. I figure we'll do one side that's really like royalty and one side that's really like chill, laid back. I'm just from Chicago vibes. <laughs> I think we'll do this one mainly because of like task we were given. Oh my God. And we have a princess. We have a princess best. And then we'll do like laid back chill. Like that's her whole thing. She's like, I'm a baker from Chicago. What am I gonna do? I can't be royalty. Well, and maybe since one of them is a baker, we can add some baking. Oh my God, she can have a baking sign. Oh, the cupcake machine. Maybe we'll just do some signs. Have like a chill chair. I don't know what Stacy's favorite color is. No one's done anything on the gallery. They've just made everyone from the princess switch. But also the whole reason it's a Christmas movie is because it's in Christmas time. Let's just add some general Christmas decorations. And since it's a baking competition that she's going to, maybe we do a little, some baking trophies. Are those baking trophies? Nobody needs to know. Maybe she baked a computer and a cheerleading thing and a chess something. Margaret can have some tea. Whatever the royal artifact display is. Oh my God, like the sequel, something gets stolen. Something royal gets stolen. Is there a plot point for the jungle adventure mirror? I wouldn't say so. Can we do that? But like the thing is, Margaret's whole thing is she's like, I'm not like a fancy princess. Like I don't need extravagance in my my life. And then I want that like princess, princess Cordelia and some flowers. I think Stacy likes baseball, but again, she also likes baking. Maybe we can give her these like little cupcake lights and maybe Margaret has fancier chandelier. It's so weird the things that stick in your brain from like certain pieces of media, but I'm pretty sure there's a part where Vanessa Hudgens like wears a baseball cap. So we'll give her that. The antique tomes, maybe they're like the royal rules. What does she like? I'm gonna have to watch the movie again. There's some point they go and give, they give toys to the kids at some point. It's like a royal duty, so maybe she just like has some of those extra toys around. Do we have any tiara? Any tiara. We have the celestial crystal crown. I don't think that's it. No, I don't have a desk, but we can do slablet. I feel like this is an if you know, you know kind of room that we have going on, but I feel like this will be our princess switch room, one side for Miss Stacy DeNovo and the other for Margaret, Duchess of Montanaro. And now let's do this bathroom.
bathroom. I don't know what to expect, but we are gonna do the night before Christmas. I didn't even spell before right. Okay, this movie, this is the other one with Vanessa. I think the whole point is that he, he's a knight, a modern day romance with a medieval twist. It's just one of those Christmas movies, you know? The whole reason that I put this on the wheel for this specific Sims house is because of this guy on this channel specifically for me. You know I love using that night when I'm doing a budget challenge and I need to take up the budget. So I feel like he's kind of cemented his place in the SKCU, not to be confused with the SKSCU, but in the Sarah Kendall Cinematic Universe, I feel that he has his rightful place here. So everything else, I think we'll just do general Christmassy like red vibe. We saw Miss Vanessa wearing that red dress, not me matching. Some winter holiday imagery, really nothing too wild. A shelf kind of moment. We do have like this chess figurine. We can always do another night somewhere. I don't want to like block off the functionality. Now we need some like royal looking, medieval looking, maybe even artwork. Like maybe he is the night before Christmas, but he's just not in his night armor wear. It does make you think and some random stuff like that. Again, I can't tell you a single thing that happens in this movie other than there is a night and it's before Christmas. But you know what? No better sign that I need to do some Christmas movie viewing than trying to make these rooms and saying, wait a minute, I have no idea what happens in this movie. I don't love that layout for a bathroom, but it's gonna be what it is. Do we need another night? We might need another night. There's the besties. That's our night before Christmas inspired bathroom. I just realized we have three things left. Oh my God, wait, we didn't do Home Alone, did we? Where was that? Did I just forget to put that on the wheel? I must've just forgotten to put that on the wheel. We have four things left. The next room is the Grinch inspired by the Grinch. There's definitely like one to two Grinch movies, but the Grinch, he's stealing Christmas. Like that's his whole thing. That's his whole vibe. He's like, you can't enjoy things because I have like deep personal problems. The Grinch is green. And so I think we do an entirely green room. Oh, that's Grinchy. I feel like that is very Grinch green. And the flooring to match, beautiful. Like I wanna put a pile of presents and then be like, no, actually maybe this would make sense because the Grinch has all the presents. He doesn't want the other people to enjoy them. Really makes you think. I think he like cosplays as Santa, but I don't really wanna put like Santa in here, you know? I don't wanna disrespect Santa like that. Oh my God, someone made like Sims, but they're the Grinch. Oh, I love that. The mean one because it's like you're a mean one Mr. Grinch Elizabeth Lynn on the gallery thank you and low steen 815 I definitely want to get this go away somewhere on the door for the Grinch or should unwelcome go like there so you see it right when you walk in the mean one right by the bed so you can remember Mr. Plotting and Scheming right here oh, there's the little dog too oh we could do like a little dog area we love an automatic feeder do like a little toy box I wish I had like sticks doesn't he have the stick on his head like a reindeer but he's not he's a fake and a fraud oh we could do branches just like that. That kind of works. Maybe some books, some boxes. My only problem with solid color rooms is when it looks empty because everything is the same color, but what can you do? But I think that's going to be our Grinch room. Again, really, really saved here by the gallery art. So our next room is going to be inspired by Home Alone. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now, I couldn't get a good grasp on what I wanted Home Alone to be, like how I would do a room inspired by it. We're going to do this one next, and it's going to be like the office, and I'll set up some like booby traps and mischief because I feel like it's all like mischief hee <laughs> hee. So the things that immediately come to mind are the like hot doorknob and the like flame thingy when you open the door. I have a plan. I have an idea. I'm gonna take this get famous lamp. Oh no, you have to go into live mode to see the fire. So the thing is the fire is gonna be up here. So I think I'm gonna put one of these over here. And what is it? Is it like a watering can? What does he hook up to the door? We can kind of create the vibe. In my head, it's a watering can. But we're gonna do that. Ignore that it is full of flowers and we're gonna put it like, there. We're just gonna use the string lights, okay? Like it's tied up there, okay? It's clipping into the other side, but like the flames are gonna be sitting right by the watering can for that one. So I'm gonna take the tool mod. I'm gonna scale this down. I'm only gonna scale it down to like 0.1, but I also also want one like by the doorknob because it's like then the doorknob's hot. I guess you would have that going into the room and not leaving the room, huh? It's fine. So as we can see, the flame is gonna hit right there. So we've got our booby trap and now I think just need some like mischief, you know? Home Alone is another one one that I, I don't know when or if I last watched it all the way through. And I know they made other ones. And I was looking, there was this article that was like the definitive best ranking of all of the Home Alone booby traps. Most of them aren't simmable, simifiable. So I'm just gonna make this kind of just like an office vibe. The thing is I knew people would be upset if I didn't include Home Alone. So that's why I am including it, even though it may not be our best room. What else do we need for like mischief? Can they do the spying on neighbors through the normal side? 
full-size telescope because they can do it through the other one. They control the forum. I'm gonna use this rug again. I never use this rug in any of my builds. Just do the like winter themed one. Add some more books, some generic clutter items around. Wait, how many Home Alone movies are there? They released one last year? I didn't know this. There are no like Home Alone like paintings or anything to kind of be like, hey, this is the Home Alone inspired room. So there's our Home Alone inspired office. I'm gonna be honest, that was kind of anticlimactic. And now we have this bathroom and we're either gonna do Polar Express or Muppets Christmas Carol. I don't know why I chose Muppets specifically, but you know what? Polar Express, I feel like that's better for the bathroom than the Christmas Carol. My whole idea with Polar Express, it was not really well thought out. I was like, let's do Navy, like some nighttime vibe, and then do a hot chocolate station. That was my whole concept. Obviously we've got a train. Da, 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 da. That's the way things happen on the Polar Express. They made a banger. What am I supposed to say? Passenger car, cargo car, engine car. Oh, let's get that somewhere. You know what? We're gonna squeeze everything together. In my head, this will work. We take skinny table, okay? We get train. We're gonna do engine and passenger. We're gonna get our hot chocolate kit. And like, there's our symbolism. We look up Polar Express. Apparently there are zero things for Polar Express. I'm actually really surprised. I thought there would be more for Polar Express. I guess we could do like kids stuff because they're like kids on the Polar Express. I'm like at a loss now. I guess we can have a little hamper. Some laundry. I thought this one specifically was gonna be so much better than it is. But I guess you cannot win them all. And that'll be our Polar Express bathroom. So if you were paying attention, you know that the last one we have is Muppets Christmas Carol. Again, I don't know why I chose the Muppets. So for like Christmas Carol, we've got like the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. So I figure we do like an older area, a like nowadays area, and a futuristic area. For the old timey area, instead of a grill, we do a little wood burning stove moment. Yeah, we do like a little table out here. Maybe this will be like our little storybook decor. This one, you really have to bear with me for this one because I thought it would be fun to do and to have that on the list. And now that we're here, I'm like, I don't know. I, there's probably another Christmas movie that would be a bit better. Oh, Candles, because I'm pretty sure like, is it Scrooge? He's very honk shoo me 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 walking around with the candles. And that's when he like sees the ghosts of like the past, present, and future. Oh, and we'll do a big clock to represent like the passage of time. Memento Mori. Do we have Muppet things? No, we literally don't. We're on our own. Like, do we want a pool? But it's winter. So no, we don't want a pool. Maybe we do more snowmen. Like what would be futuristic? Oh, we could do a future cube. Maybe we do a future cube by the clock. We'll do multiple future cubes. I don't know what those um, holes are in, in the middle of there, but we're just gonna pretend we do not see it. But what we will do is we'll add a ghosty. We'll have like ghost of future, ghost of past. I didn't think the present would be the hardest one to think of. Some monkey bars. I am really sorry to disappoint here. Thought we were gonna finish strong. Just wanted some snowmen around and we'll put another ghosty. I just figured like Christmas present would be like current day stuff. When in doubt with your backyard vibe, literally just like add a tree, you're set, you're good. So this is like 10% Muppets Christmas Carol and like 90% stuff I would normally put in a backyard with some ghost lights. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a like, make sure comment down below, trees fix everything. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Sims videos and shorts. Follow me on Twitch and TikTok for live streams. This house will be on the gallery. Here's a final, final look over everything. And happy holidays no matter what you celebrate. I hope you have a very fun and safe time. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!